organization under technology development. He was an innovative ability in the area of technology development and entrepreneurship in the initiatives. Tirasanjay Inanda, first generation entrepreneur, is a member of the Board of Governors at College of Engineering Pune, co-founder of BIHAU Institute of Innovation, Entrepreneurship and Leadership, a chartered member of PIE and Paul Harris Fellow of Rotary International. He is a speaker for HPAIR, Harvard Project for Asian and International Relations, and also in other educational and business institutions. He has always been a learner and an explorer in the technical field. Having had manufacturing and business experience, he found the Flucon, a star export house, having leadership in hygienic stainless steel products and designs for process industry. He is also a consultant to the and through Sanjay Nandar to share their wisdom with the presentation. almost everywhere in all parts of our country. And this pot, when I was small, was told that this pot uh, is to be, you know, two pots are uh, together and this pot was filled with water. Once you dip it in the water, the water goes in and then the extra water goes out and then you have to keep it in the drain. So when it's stored in villages, so in that drain, you have to keep it and, and leave it like that. And we were all told that there is ghost inside and you should never ever play with that. And after a few days, once that is taken out by the elders, you have to take it at, like that back and go running and throw it in the river. Because the ghost may, may hurt you. And students used to do that all the time. Most of the rural students from villages would know this. But our ancient peoples have also done innovation. Modi sir talks of innovation today, and Dr. Sasrabudi sir said, 16th, 100th century, and afterwards, we were innovative, we were enterprising, and this was one of the innovations. But one student, how teachers can play a role in small, small things uh, and, and foster innovation, I'm trying to share with you in just five steps. One teacher, one girl student was there and she said, can I break this? It was like that because students should not smell it because they may get infected. That's why it was told that they should hold it here, should not see at the pot and go and throw it. What used to happen is, uh, this is incomplete. But, but, you know, some microorganisms that they generate, they used to enter there because they can lay their eggs. And they used to get trapped there. And the grain used to be saved. In, in our language, we call certain name for the insects. And the grain used to be saved. And this was going on for, I think, more than a thousand years. And till one student was encouraged by the teacher you break it right there with you. Don't worry, no ghost will come. If ghost comes, I'm there to help you. And the student broke, broke this pot and found that the insects are dead inside. These are, these are insects. So this is called a beetles, butchered beetles. They're dead. And so, so it was known that you know, they lay the eggs, etc. And it was brought to your own state, Tamil Nadu, Agriculture University, and this was devised. So the innovation is complete. So innovation was done thousand years ago, and the innovation, some teacher helped the student from the fear of ghost, and, and some people generated like this. This is very cheap. This does not cost a lot of money. And you don't want to buy insecticides or anything. And this is being used uh, even today uh, at different places and has come out of Tamil Nadu. So I have taken this first uh, example. The second example, uh, you know this lady? Jim Gulak. She, she has spent all her life with, with gorillas and monkeys. 
because she's fond of her there. She has studied there. And she had one student. You know that gorillas are very lazy, you know, they get up by 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock and they just, uh, you know, will go to the just next tree, will not find, find good food growing long way. So, but she encouraged the student, you know, the student was watching one gorilla getting up early and going to a particular plant, take eating particular leaves, turning into a pill-like thing and swallowing it all the time. And then she realized, etc. So they were on the PhD on this, she realized that early morning is exactly the leaf name is there uh, and finally it was derived. Right. So it was derived that uh, you know the leaf has uh, has some medicinal properties and uh, you know the gorillas were going to make pills even before human beings knew. So we can always learn from uh, nature, we can learn also from monkeys also. So uh, you know, this is Egypt, Egyptian scrolls, and uh, again, a woman from Tamil Nadu I have taken particularly. Uh, you know, the script says that uh, you know, put urine of woman on a cloth bag containing wheat or barley seeds. Why? No one knew. A lady from Tamil Nadu thought why she should do it. Why this was written like that? Before Christ. This is the lady, Dr. T. Vina. So she thought that there must be something. Why not try? But, you know, she, it was very difficult for her to get uh, uh, the sample. So she thought, why not this to be tried on cows and urine of cows? And she tried on the cow's urine and uh, uh, she did that. And she came to know that if the cow is pregnant, the scent for There is no germination. If not pregnant, this will grow. This is just water. So this is a simple test. Even today, veterinary doctor, this is being used all across uh, India. Uh, so, so this is innovation bringing it to the market. Then innovation is complete. And even grassroots innovation, so wherever you are working, whatever you are doing, the innovation is possible. I'll just Share with you two more experiences. So this is this is the cause. I was working in Otto Zucker company in Germany, you know, just after my college days. And uh, I worked there for not less than 15 hours a day. And I was 22 years old. And uh, there was no structured uh, help for entrepreneurship like that. As I told you, I was just passionate about helping my parents come out of uh, financial difficulties. And I thought that I must start business at some point of time because uh, the money that I learned, you know, people used to say that you save so you can help. And I was thinking even 22 years ago, there are two options for me, but not just one. So thinking 360 days, not habitual thinking, that I go for a job. That there are two things, you know, I, I manage whatever I earn, one, or I earn how much I want, how much my needs are. So I go for the second option. So I wanted to do the business. I was in Otto Junker and my work called to work only for eight days there, eight hours a day, and Saturday, Sunday off. But I used to go to the next plant also, where this was, they're the first in making stainless steel. You know stainless steel was uh, uh, invented in for World War II. Uh, uh, so, uh, Germany is leading in manufacturing of stainless steel, uh, which is my passion now. So you know, I was there and I was going to the higher levels in manufacturing and I learned there a lot. I was only 22 years old when I came back and uh, uh, this is what I did. When I came back and I started my business and uh, within two years met uh, I thought that, you know, ethical and legal business doing, so I was not going out to many other institutions where there are other things, other considerations, so I was going with, uh, with the technical knowledge, I was trying to get into Atomic Energy, Baba Atomic Research Center. And I was knowing that hydrofluoric acid is a very, very corrosive acid and uh, in chemical engineering division at the Trombay, and uh, they, they were importing from Germany some valves, which I thought I could make. 
and the ones where for hysteroids, it is called as if it is CN7MCU, great. And it was made by Quebec Corporation, especially the heat treatment was uh, patented by Quebec Corporation at TMC. And I thought I can make it. Dr. Marin was there, uh, who was a great scientist, and I respect him even today. He was there, and I, I tried to convince him, but none of his assistants said that, you know, I even grew my beard to look a little uh, mature. Uh, because, you know, just a student coming in and telling me, you know, you are doing some business and uh, we cannot uh, risk you. Know. So put in all my little savings, borrowing money from here and there, I made a prototype and instead of just explaining, sometimes bringing in a prototype and putting on the table of the customer, uh, young students, you please remember, is very important. Because the product speaks 100 times than your catalogs or yourself. So I kept the product on that table and said, why don't you test it, you know, Dr. Manisha, for me? And he was kind enough to taste it. It worked well. I did likes and likes of a few jobs with not only BRC, but PPUD at that time, Power Project Indian Division, which then was converted into Nuclear Power Corporation, Indian Railroad Limited, Mysore, and uh, Takapara, and everywhere. Uh, and, and that generated a lot of business. So innovation brought to market by the experience, even if you are young, don't worry, remember me, I was there only 22 years, growing a beard to see, show that, you know, I'm a little mature and think, yeah, think of me a little seriously, but I trust that youth of this country can do wonders and, and, and contribute to the progress of our country. Uh, you have just heard uh, our professor Sarun there. Director to students, or principal to students, I'll give you just one last fifth example. And I have seen it all through for the last eight years. Uh, how many of you know that COEP, College of Engineering, Pune? You know College of Engineering, Pune? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, you know. And do you know that uh, they have launched Swayam, a satellite, very successfully, and the Prime Minister also has congratulated them? You know that? You know that. So, uh, behind this, in a little story, which is one minute story, I'll tell you a big, big one for eight years. Uh, a student uh, whose name is Ashutosh Barrister uh, was wanting to go to you know, uh, IIT Mumbai, or his friends got in, he could not get in, and he got into COEP. And he was uh, like, you know, all friends are there. So he used, he used to go for summer vacation uh, to work there in IIT because his friends were there. And they were working on a satellite project. And uh, he was just joining them. He learned. As I learned his steel making in Germany, though it was not my job, and I made so well, uh, he, he learned uh, from the students and the faculty who were doing, though he was not dieting. So he learned and he came back and he came to Dr. Sasser Bude and said he, he's, he was a civil engineering student and there was no civil engineering almost uh, in making the satellite. Uh, and he said, I want to start a club to make a satellite and I want some resources, which would cost. And Dr. Sassel would say, this is the time you should be knowing to take little risks and encourage a student, uh, judge the student, whether or not he or she is capable of uh, doing something, how much passion is there in, in, in their heart. Like Dr. Mani saw the passion in me, uh, Dr. Sassel would saw the passion in Ashutosh and, and gave him a chance. And his way of working, I have seen, is that give a little for the litmus test, then make a pilot assumption, and then, then make a complete assumption and stand firmly behind, behind the project, which was done. Students did it on their own. And faculty, one more thing I was talking to Dr. Rajam sir, is that, you know, help so much that we don't kill the butterfly. That's what exactly was done by Dr. Sastrabudhi, so that students experienced failure, they noted down the failure also, which was helpful to the next two rooms. Eight years it went on, and last year it was launched successfully. Even today, it makes two or two times it comes on the head of COMP. And, and it is doing the job that it is expected to be done. Uh, so this was an innovation again, which is useful. It has earned any money? No, but it has earned something. So it has to be successful you know, in, uh, to help, help people. These are the students who were innovating. These are the photos eight years ago. Uh, and, and the students were doing. Do you see any faculty member there? No. But faculty was there? Yes. 
Faculty was banned and then, director sir was formally banned then, but they were let loose and Dr. Rajan said, let it be fine and square food and let them do what they want to do. Exactly this is uh, done by Dr. Professor Guru there. I have witnessed this all through eight years. I have met these all uh, uh, batches of uh, eight years. It was confused. So, uh, what AICD can do, as, uh, as it was told by the chairman, sir, is that uh, we are not here with bags of money to distribute. Uh, but definitely, uh, we have something to contribute to what the uh, institutions will do, especially the heads of the institutions will do, uh, and the students uh, uh, will participate. So, uh, the, uh, the thing we are, two or three main things we are thinking of is that working in isolation should be bridged as much as possible. So, we'll have an idea lab, so we'll have a portal uh, wherein ideas can be put. So, the all nations idea can be in one basket for anyone to use with and work on. So maybe two students, two students or five, ten students uh, can work together. As what happens in the United States, you know, this can happen here also. Uh, a student from Anna University and a student from Pune and Mumbai University or other universities of Bengal University can work together. Uh, second is short films bank. I was talking to Sanjay Kumar, one of my colleagues here, and he also liked the idea is that, uh, you know, uh, Screening short films. I have experienced this uh, while I was my, doing my master's degree at Harvard University. Uh, that uh, short films are very powerful method of education, and we should not show, the, you know, what Jeffrey Miller did or what Bill Gates did. We can show that, but let's not stop there. Uh, we can show what Sanjay did. I mean, just saying myself, but someone else, Sanjay did, or anyone else did. So. You know, a person coming from a rural place, I have come from a rural place, job written, son of a teacher father, but could do something. So it generates a lot of confidence uh, in students who come from places and they think, you know, they're deprived of the facilities. But still, uh, I trust uh, that uh, there is a burning desire in each one of uh, the minds of our students and they can, they can bank on their uh, inner voice uh, and do something. In, even if they fail and they go back to the service, they'll be different. These days people pay more if you have failed in your startup and come back to the jobs because you have learned a lot. Smart people like Flipkart, like Amazon, they understand the value of failing. And, and this is what I'm saying. I don't want you to lose your pants, but uh, you definitely want to uh, fail uh, in a way, control failing. Like control